Yo, what is up guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall channel, your source for on point and no hype reviews. We are back yet again, everybody. We're back with another fragrance review right here, guys, on this lovely weekend. And today, finally, on my channel, I will start talking about Mind Games fragrances. Yup, Mind Games, guys. And this fragrance right here to me was the most interesting out of the three that I had that I have been testing for the past like how many months. And so, hope you guys are excited. Let's talk about this stuff. No hype. Now, before I continue, please do not forget to like and subscribe, guys. Okay, liking, subscribing, and watching the ads is a great big deal to this channel, guys. We are headed towards 17,000 subscribers. So if you haven't done so, please support the channel and enjoy over 600 no hype videos. If you are into unbiased no hype feedback, this is the spot right here. And the fragrance that we will be talking about today is none other than the uber popular Mind Games Grandmaster. Yes, Grandmaster right here by Mind Games, guys. Finally, I'm delving into Mind Games, but it doesn't mean that I haven't been testing and trying these fragrances for the past how many months, guys? I mean, out of the three, I had Blockade, Grandmaster, and Double Attack. This is the one that stood out to me the most, guys. So that is what I will be starting with. Now, Mind Games Fragrances, guys. This company took Fragcom by storm, guys. Last year, 2022, is when Mind Games Fragrances really picked up. And you know what? I gotta say, it's a really smart concept. I mean, not only do you have these beautiful chess piece bottles, chess themed names, really catchy names like Grandmaster, Double Attack, and Blockade. But also I would say that this one was very much pushed by a lot of influencers guys at the time because Mind Games to me, there's no background to it. I mean, just came out of nowhere. And then suddenly there were all these influencers pushing this fragrance. One thing on top of everyone requesting that I do this review guys, that really pushed me to do this review was when I was watching one of my favorite like Marvel Universe influencers screen crush and he was pushing Grandmaster I mean can you believe that I was geeking out watching my MCU stuff you know I love Marvel I love comics I love the movies and he was saying I'm currently wearing Grandmaster by Mind Games and I was just like what like oh my gosh like really there is a huge influencer push on this fragrance. But you know what guys, influencing and the influencers can only go so far. And without some real feedback, some real positive feedback regarding a fragrance guys, I don't think any fragrance could be as popular or the popularity would be as sustained as right now. And I would say that this fragrance Grandmaster has garnered a lot of positive feedback within the community and that's really ultimately what pushed me to make this review guys okay so what is Grandmaster all about by Mind Games let's go check it right now let's spray this thing right now mm. okay guys now let's talk about Mind Games Grandmaster starting with the stellar opening that this fragrance has. So right here in the opening notes, you're gonna have rose water, black currant, peony, as well as the early appearance of coffee, guys. Yes, the early appearance of coffee. Now this fragrance is really smartly done. I'm gonna say this, this is smartly done. The whole structure of this fragrance, start to finish. The opening of this fragrance is quite genius in my opinion. Why? Because number one, rose. Rose is to me, a 50-50 note in the fragrance world, especially when it's your first time trying rose. I mean, definitely a thicker rose note might be too much, too heavy for a lot of mainstream fragrance lovers, guys. I mean, there is a reason why people use rose water or geranium as kind of like a preview into the thicker rose note in some other fragrances. Now, right here, this fragrance, Grandmaster, utilizes an uplifting combination of rose water, peony, and lingering fruity black currant. So it's not really the thick rose note that is the 50-50, but it's actually a nice uplifting, lingering preview to the rose. It is rosy, but it's also uplifting floral with that fruity black currant right there. And that smartly structured intro is beautiful, perfect for mainstream lovers of perfumes because you're not immediately going into a thick, warming, spicy rose. No, you're not. I mean, you are gonna get at first an uplifting 
rose preview with peony with fruity lingering black currant which is really really nice now this opening intro right here for me wonderful i mean i really enjoy the initial sillage of this fragrance the uplifting rosy sillage of grandmaster it is really beautiful and i will say this that this intro fetches the compliments really easy guys i mean not only did my wife love it but anyone i've ever worn this fragrance around complimented me with that beautiful combination right there i mean just the uplifting part alone will get people on the compliments now 15 minutes in you are gonna get the early appearance of coffee yes 15 minutes in so actually this beautiful blast the lingering uplifting blast this one lasts i would say up to an hour but 15 minutes in you are gonna get traces of that coffee and don't forget that peony is actually part spicy as well so it's a nice little gradient that starts 15 minutes in and as you guys know the rose and coffee combination this is a lethal combination popularized by montal and tom ford this is just a beautiful combination that starts 15 minutes in and again because it's just traces of that coffee we're not really on a full-blown coffee rose combination yet you kind of get that preview there's that little spiciness little gradient little coffee intro and again is lovable for both the wearer and whoever smells this is is a lethal combo now here's an opinion that i stated on the members portion of this channel about mind games in my opinion mind games fragrances are made for not only the neophytes the new people in the fragrance community but also the new discovery people of fragcom and what do i mean by new discovery guys now what i mean by new discovery is a situation where for example you already have five or six perfumes but you haven't yet discovered the rose coffee combination made popular by intense cafe and cafe rose by tom ford maybe you haven't tried that yet but through the marketing of mind games the influencers the hype maybe you're at beverly hills perfumery and these things stand out these chess looking uh bottles stand out and you try it and then boom that's your intro to the coffee and rose combination the mind-blowing coffee and rose combination so i think that's what it is you look at the other mind games fragrances that are really hyped these are already existing already popularized combinations for example blockade mango and citrus and then you also have double attack with the chocolate but you know what guys there are new fragcom people that have not discovered these combinations yet and so right here at grandmaster this is where you're gonna find out the rose coffee combination that was popularized by those other fragrances years ago now one hour in guys you are finally going to get that full bodied rose note that's right the full bodied thick rose oil note comes in an hour in so you have basically an hour coverage of that nice lingering aura scent with that uplifting rosy and a little bit of coffee uh combination right there it's about an hour and then you get this full bodied rose an hour in but here's the thing guys with the rose comes an intensifying coffee note okay so the coffee comes in with the rose at the same time and as both intensify together you're getting the combination rather than rose being alone and i'm gonna say this the full bodied rose note is never alone in this fragrance okay and so that's why this fragrance is popular in the mainstream because it kind of like is a soft landing you know the rose water reels you in and by the time you get that thick rose note bam there's that coffee combination that killer combination as well now this part right here i mean i don't really need to mention how good it is but it is absolutely sensual it's an absolute gradient from the start guys and it's sexy it's a draw in and so you know i like to call this fragrance the hook line and sinker because the hook is the uplifting part and then it reels you in into this sexy rose coffee combination what a nice draw in what a nice reel in spicy coffee 
rose i mean definitely sensual definitely date night with some progression it doesn't just end at a conversation but it is a sexy part of this fragrance now this part right here lasts for three hours three hours guys okay and after three hours you're gonna get another combination with the rose in comes violet guys okay so three hours into the mid you're gonna get rose and violet which is a popular rose combination in other fragrances violet is your candied sweet floral guys and it does mix in with the rose kind of creates the same effect as the black Courant in the intro sweet lingering spikes with that deep rose right there again real sexy real nice what a nice progression from the coffee and rose it goes into rose and violet now headed into the dry down guys four hours in is when myrrh and incense comes in and to me guys it is a bridge to the dry down i know it's part of the dry down notes but for me it's more of like a bridge i mean the myrrh is going to be prominent four hours in and it's going to get caught by some smoky mild incense i wouldn't say that it turns it into an incensey thing because you're still going to smell traces of that candied violet and the rose so it's kind of like a mix between rose violet incense and myrrh headed into the dry down that's why i said it's kind of like a bridge note it's a beautiful transition into the dry down i like it but most importantly what i do like about this incensey dry down is that it's only a phase okay it's only a phase it doesn't really end with that dark woods and incense it doesn't end there guys and that's what i like about this dry down and that's because the ultimate dry down is going to be your panettone accord with the woods guys that's your ultimate dry down panettone bread this is one of my family's absolute favorite breads at home because when i was younger i was raised around italian nuns and they always brought this around to the table guys whenever they were around until my family my mom and dad bought panettone on a regular basis it is an expensive type of bread it's sweet, it's honeyed, it's layered. There's also some raisins and almonds in this panettone right here, okay? Definitely something you guys should try. For those that have never tried panettone, let me describe this dry down right here. The dry down is very similar to a vanilla woods ending, okay? I'll keep it simple right there so you don't have to be searching around for panettone. It's kind of like a smooth, creamy vanilla woods ending i know it says ebony and dark woods but i feel like in the end it's pretty much like just vanilla and woods not necessarily a fade to black or an ultimate like gradient all the way down because like i said that incense backs out at some point and you are left with this sweet vanilla style uh, almost like a cedar vanilla Type of dry down right here now this fragrance right here grandmaster like i said very smartly done very well marketed towards the new discovery people and the new people of fragcom i wouldn't be surprised if this was used by a lot of single guys and gals or anybody in between or is being used hardcore in every date night out there because not only will this reel in a lot of new people with that opening but it is a soft landing into that rose coffee stellar well-known combination and then even as we head into the dry down it's just a slightly smoky phase with rose and violet and then finally it reveals into this vanilla woods type dry down which is amazing for netflix and chill guys in my opinion so this thing right here is amazing from start to finish in my opinion it is very unisex both guys and gals and anybody in between can wear this thing right here and i would say that this is not necessarily a fall winter fragrance in my opinion as long as it's slightly cool or there's some air conditioning you can wear grandmaster right here it's not an immediate thick rosy fragrance that really goes into a hardcore gradient that's for fall winter season i mean definitely i would wear this for fall winter but i'm saying this is still applicable for this season depending on that coolness like i said so again this is a winner right here for me this fragrance mind games grandmaster lasts a total of nine hours which is more than decent for me but ultimately guys it's gonna be the combos 
That's really gonna get you guys with this fragrance. The structure itself with these beautiful, well-established combinations, rose water with black currant and peony, heading into a thick rose and coffee killer combination. And then you've got incense, violet and rose, and then ultimately that sweet, panettone and woods vanilla woods style ending to this fragrance it's gonna get you guys start to finish if you haven't uh gotten to these combinations yet i guarantee you it's gonna blow you away maybe if you were in fragcom for four to five years these combinations might not be new and maybe you've tried this in other fragrances but put together like this smartly done a nice soft landing into rose guys I think that's why Grandmaster is a hit to many. I implore you guys to try this fragrance and use my discount code from Beverly Hills Perfumery, 10% off, I'll link it below. That's huge, especially for niche perfumes. And you do get a bunch of samples. So either get this full bottle or get a bottle you've been eyeing and then get this as a sample, guys, okay? And that is it. That is my review, my no-hype review on Mind Games Grandmaster. Just wanted to really explain the hype, guys, but you already know it's a good fragrance. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think of this fragrance, if you've tried it, used it, utilized it, if it's been working for you in the dating world, let me know on the comments below, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys enjoy this weekend. God bless. Take care. Peace.